Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Wednesday, February 23rd, 2022. Winding down the month of February, two months into 2022. How about that? So I want to hop on here real quick and continue with our little morning messages. And today we are going to be talking about getting things done and what has helped and worked for me the most and the tra- and the traits and qualities that I have gained from doing so. So let's hop into it. Okie dokie, artichokey. So one thing that has been on my mind lately is this kind of idea of kind of accomplishing or progressing towards certain goals that you have and that certain tasks that you need to do each and every day to complete them. And so there's this idea that I think sometimes we tend to overestimate what we can get done in a single day and we underestimate what we can actually get done in an entire year. I mean, I personally know that maybe I kind of thought to myself, like, why, why do we, why do we tend to think this way? Like, why do I think this way? I know from my experience, I think maybe because it's, it's closer to us, right? I mean, the time frame, right? One day we feel like we can just do a million things in literally maybe a maximum of 16 to 16 to an 18 hour window in one day versus maybe much bigger tasks that, you know, require several days, several months to work towards, which ultimately boil down to what you did in a single day repeatedly over and over, right? But I think it ultimately comes back to this idea that I think we tend to have this misconception or misperception of time in general. And so I think humans in general have a difficult time of compartmentalizing time. So. We may, we may think that certain things will take much longer than they actually do. Maybe we don't actually have a good idea of how long certain tasks take, um, but we think they actually take longer than they do and they, actually, <laughs> they might take more out of us than they actually do as well. And really, I think sometimes we, we choose not to do certain things that we know we have to do because we think that it'll actually take so much out of us when I know in my experience, certain things like, I don't know, just some super basic things like laundry, like, like just do it and it gets done. And it's actually not that bad. It doesn't really take that long or, or hopping on the phone with someone, you know, you need to call or writing an email, right? You just do it or writing a post or a caption for a post or doing this message would be a perfect example for me. Um, you just do it and it gets done and it <laughs> usually doesn't take very long. Um, you know, within our days that we're looking at tasks that we complete within our days and it usually doesn't take very long and it usually doesn't take as much as we think out of us, right? Usually the, the pain is <laughs> the more stress is almost in the anticipation of doing it than, than the actual performance of doing it. And then one caveat might be if there's a task that might be several days to complete or just within the day that might take, you know, that might take you five, six hours plus to do, or or maybe, you know, for work or something like that. Um, It's really just boiling it down to, you know, what is taking this one step at a time. And I've said this before. Um, But then the trick to that is really with your intention and focus while doing the task. Sitting down and saying, you know, this is what I'm doing right now. What, what do I need to do? Let's take this one step at a time. Because if you take a step back from it in the grand scheme of things, like you can't do five things at once. You can only do one thing at a time. And I think that's how you get, that's how you accomplish anything. That's how you do anything. That's how you get any thing done. And I know this (laughs) specifically uh, because I personally have a difficult time handling or doing several things at one time. Um, I think what many may call multitasking. Now I'm not the best at, at multitasking. I actually suck at multitasking. I'm very much a one drawer open, one drawer, <laughs> one drawer open at a time, open it, shut it, pick up one thing, complete it, set it back down, move on to the next task, close the next, you know, close that drawer, open up the next drawer. Like, that's just, that's how I operate. That's how I work. And I've actually found that this is my greatest strength. Like, I think a lot of people may say, um, 
Like you need to be able to multitask. Like, is that like, that's a quality, right? If you're interviewing, right? An interview is like, oh yeah, I'm a good multitasker. I can do several things at once. In actuality, no, I'm a very bad multitasker. Um, but whenever I am doing something, I can devote my full undivided attention to it and it will absolutely get done and it will get done well. Um, and usually faster than, than I usually think it will. And usually won't take as much out of me. Um, and that's just in my experience. And I've realized that that's actually my greatest strength because it's more conducive to getting whatever it is that I need to get done and doing it faster and doing it better and really not taking a whole lot as much as I think out of me at the end of the day after it gets done. And so I just wanted to cap this little morning message by saying that when you can hold yourself accountable to get the things that you know you need to get done, even when you don't want to do them, when you don't want to do them, you build confidence and self-respect. And these two traits will always light a path forward for you and open up opportunities and doors that may otherwise have not been opened for you. So that is all I got for today's morning message. Happy Wednesday. Let's kill it today. Happy hump day. And let's kill the rest of February. So love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.